Hey guys, this is Sea Dog, and it is time to begin the Amnesia: The Dark Descent custom story uh, multi stories. Um, in any case, I have a whole list of stories right here, as you can see, and we're going to start at the top of the list. So let's begin Amnesia Hill Harold's story. Um, from what I understand, and you can see from the title, this is someone's take on Amnesia meets Silent Hill and has a baby uh, by Vengeful Nemesis. And I think Vengeful Nemesis voices the character and does an okay job, but it, you know, it could use a little work. But then if this person's uh, not a professional voice actor, I can certainly understand. But in any case, it says here, Harold Mason, he is just an ordinary man that lives in the suburbs. Nothing was more peaceful than living in such an area. Until he visited a gift shop. It was a cold, muggy evening, and he needed somewhere to go inside. He stumbled across a place called Eden's Collectibles. That choice to warm up would doom him. He had browsed around the shop just to pass some time. Then he saw the most fabulous model house he had ever seen. Without hesitating, he purchased it. He had a fancy for novelties. So it was no, um, no guess he would buy something in the store. He had the biggest smile on his face when he became <clears throat> when it became his own possession. But that smile would soon be inverted when he discovered the truth of what horror the house holds. The creature <clears throat> that inhabit these halls habits these halls would soon spill into the real world to haunt Harold into a downward cataclysm. Okay, so I'm not the best <clears throat> you know voice actor myself, but you know, uh, I don't claim to be. In any case, so here we are. It's very yellow. Uh, welcome to Amnesia Hill. This tutorial will help you to explain a few things that you may, uh, that may help you in this mod. You may skip this by touching the door behind you if you wish. Otherwise, continue to the next room. Well, I suspected it's going to show us stuff that if you played Amnesia, uh, you already know. But for those who don't know, uh, let's see. This is jump. That's still the same. That's crouch. This is... Run, okay. Uh, strife, left, right, forward, back. Lean with it, lean with it. Something you see more in games today. All right, <clears throat> throughout the story, you will encounter a surplus of goodies that keep you alive. However, be sure to use them wisely. Basically, uh, manage your resources. <clears throat> okay, this stuff is like, you know, health potion. Fix up, uh, fix you up nice and nice. This is the sanity potion. This is the oil for, uh, oil potion, which is used in the lantern. Uh, the reason you use sanity potion is because you keep track of your physical well-being as well as your mental well-being because when you're in the dark or when a monster is coming at you your teeth will start to chatter and you'll start to uh, go insane and it's dropping us in each scene what can I say <clears throat> throughout this mod you will encounter a few puzzles that may be mind-bending but no fear there are orange glows around the most important items you may need here is a very easy example try moving the box to the other pillar and uh, to progress onward 
So that means that door is locked. This is a pillar and a box, baby box. Do your magic, baby box. Get off your ass. Come on. All right, fine. There we go. Uh, when grabbing an object, press the right mouse button. Uh, that was the left mouse button. Oh, the right mouse button. You can throw it. <clears throat> This looks familiar, hence the uh, Silent Hill uh, connection. To give the true feeling of Silent Hill, this mod uses saving points, such as these on the ground, to save your progress. This is a custom story edition, so there is pretty they are pretty pointless. But I left them um, in if you desire to utilize them. I think even though you save with these, these are symbols that you've probably seen in Silent Hill games if you play them. Um, I think like each one is something different, for, a different one from a different game. Uh, I haven't played them all. Um, and I will be bringing uh, more of that Silent Hill to uh, my channel. But in any case, uh, I think you can save with them. But it won't make any difference because it's not going to save the game. As we know, the only time you get to save in a... Uh, Amnesia story is when you exit and then you exit and save. Oh damn. Yeah, see this my sanity is getting weakened. Avoid looking at enemies for as long for too long. It will drain your sanity and you will eventually be seen. See I'm looking away, everything's normal. I look at him. Uh shit. Uh do not be afraid yet. But this is one of the many enemies you will encounter throughout the game. This uh, little bundle of joy is called a phantom. And he cannot be killed like every other monster which you will learn on the next in the next room. Uh, okay, so... The hell is that? Damn. It's coming out of his stomach. Or... Damn. Okay, so it's a little high for a penis, but looks like a penis or whatever it is going right into his butt. That's just nasty. All right, sanity return. <clears throat> this mod has a unique battle system that allows you to kill any enemy with whatever you can pick up. Like said in the previous room, the Phantom is the only exception to this rule. After all, it's not an amnesia game if there's, you know, not an enemy that you can't kill. You have to run and hide from. Uh, look at the grunt over there. He is just a rag doll. Isn't he cute? Not really, because I'm losing my sanity. Uh, in case... Um, Use the broom to give him a few wax. Am I going to stick it up his butt? Oh, come on. Alright, pick up with the left. Hit him. And he disappears. And we'll just throw it. This one. Okay. Uh, guess we got it that way, but first, damn. <clears throat> this mod feeds off your fears and makes you bite your teeth at any moment. Ooh. It waits until the right moment to scare you. It is not just teleporting naked guys left and right. Well, I certainly hope not. All right. This tutorial is now over. Tutorial. Hopefully, you got a better understanding of what this mod offers and how <clears throat> to do certain events. If you are um, all finished up in here, continue through the door to begin the nightmare. Huh. Oh shit, which door?
Can we go back here? Yes, we can. Wow, that spin is pretty intense. Let's get going. Hey guys, well there you go. Another episode in the tube. I hope you've enjoyed this series, or are enjoying this series as much as I am. So many cold chills and looking over your shoulder. Because, uh, yeah, some of these stories are pretty darn scary. So if you like what you've seen, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and favorite the video. And as always, I'll see you guys later in the next video.